Ooh. I got Doritos. They're two for five. Is that, wait, did you say no Doritos? <gasps> it's okay, I know how to edit. <laughs> 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 I thought it was funny to see what you did. Robert? So, one thing I'm a little nervous about with the shoot uh -huh. is that <laughs> it's November. And the cold. And it's very cold outside. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with that good old adage, you know, the Victoria's Secret models and all that stuff, the other shoots that we live for and then the mm -hmm. lingerie, it's always the opposite season. That's so true. That's so true. So this is kind of one of them things where I appreciate you because you're bearing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're bearing the brunt of the cold. But it's gonna be for the better. I promise yeah. you it's gonna be a it's gonna look amazing. Try to keep you covered up. The last shoot I did with you was in the cold as well. Um, oh, do you was. remember? Um, it was, um... Yes, the one we did outside, Zach. Oh my god, wait! I think we have now a history of shooting in the cold. Yeah. I think that's, listen, that's when we work our best. And believe it or not, because you're like, your adrenaline, your adrenaline and everything is like at the service, you get the best work. Yeah. Like, I think that's why that, I think that's kind of why photographers do it as well. A little torture, <laughs> but they know they get the best results out of the models. Yeah. But I'm not. Like I also chose you because of that day. Um, you like moved your ass off. You were able. I would say, hey, do this, mm -hmm. move this, do this, and made it happen. That's what I needed for today. Like, I need someone kind of no questions asked and kind of like that fierce, like I could do it, make it happen, attitude. Thanks. Like my, it's gonna definitely, it's definitely my biggest and my best shoot today for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the most pride in this because it's my baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that this kind of, in a sense, launch, not launches me, but like, it's a platform. Yeah, and it's a platform that I created for myself. Like, you know, mm -hmm. this is just, this is something I said. Listen, I want to make this happen. Do what I gotta do. And this is it. We'll see if this gives me the right attention in Atlanta. I'm sure it will. You have name on the camera. Shooting. Oh yeah, name and... name for name Marie is like a beast in photography. I think she's one of the. Probably the best people to work with because she knows one, she's always true to herself and her vision, but she always, but she never like makes sure that she's you're, you're compromised. Like you always, that you, that you get what you're looking for as well. Because mm -hmm. she, she's a particular kind of artist, and that's why I appreciate working with her. Mm -hmm. um, and this is also gonna go on my website. Um, I decided, and and again, kind of buckling down and making everything more serious and more true. I needed, you know, to kind of build my website. Right. Um, and so I did that. It's. All things creative, um, and the, the creative is spelled with a C R eight T I V E, um, and it just represents. I think it represents everything that I do. I don't. Yes, I do makeup, but I love it, and it you know brings me joy. But I love creating. I created the headpieces that you're gonna see today in the shoe. Um, I just like taking. I'm not doing whatever. I'm the DIY guy. Whatever I can do myself with my hands on, give it a try. I'm definitely gonna want to do it. Okay, bye. It brings me joy. What steps? Are you taking to kind of make your what chances are you taking? What are you doing? Honestly, I've I've been working on a strategy. I need to come up with a strategy, but at this point, I'm just doing. Okay. Like I have to keep doing, and I just know Not that true. eventually it's it's something, something will pay off. Right. Well, I say this much. Um, I think I took vision boards. Like, mm. I didn't. I don't know. I just kind of took them. Were stupid. Oh, I, I they just. I didn't see the point of it. Mm -hmm. And until I guess I don't know. I seen a couple people kind of. It worked for a couple people. Mm -hmm. It is in the sense is that they were able to see something for themselves and they made it happen. Right. I made one, but I definitely want to expand on it. It's not mm -hmm. like okay. thick enough. It's not like true enough to what I want. To what you want. It, mm -hmm. does, it doesn't incorporate everything. Right. I think I'm, that, that's the, probably the first thing I'm going to do um, when I get to Atlanta <laughs> is make my vision board. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I want to I wanna have a plan for there and I just don't want to wing it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the, the, I'm, where I'm winging it is in taking the chance of moving out there. Right. I don't, everything else, I don't want to leave anything else a chance. <laughs> I feel you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to require the right work and just the right moves, meeting the right people. Mm -hmm. I think in me being at Aries and like the light, you know, like meeting people and being interacting, it's, I think I'm going to be okay. I'm sure. If not, I'll be right on them streets. <laughs> <laughs> stripping. I don't, think I, I don't think I'm stripper body ready yet. But um, I've been in Atlanta, and apparently there's a gym complex. That's one of one of the perks of leaving New York. You get amenities. I have a gym in my where I'm moving to, and oh. yeah, if that's not reason enough for, yeah. for me to move and leave New York, there's two pools, so I plan to be summer ready. 
in case my makeup period wants, I'll be able to, you know, drop it like that. Yeah. <laughs> A nice little bathroom. I have my own. And it's warm. Look up. Mm -hmm. It's just that's what I need. I need. I need to. I need to feel luxury. Luxurious. Mm -hmm. I want to make luxurious things happen. I need to feel luxurious. Okay. Yeah. If you could, if you could move any place, where would you move to? Or if you, like, if you could start over anywhere, where would it be? You know that's so like difficult for me to answer. I love New York so much. That you can only see yourself here? I mean, I can see myself like visiting other places, maybe even like living there for a year. Mm -hmm. Trying it out. Yeah, but New York is just. Because it has everything. Everything is here. Everything is here. Yeah, yeah I know. The only thing that really turns me off is like, you know, a, like a $2,000 studio apartments. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and it's only, but see that it's only getting more and more pricier. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Because not like it's getting any better. Yeah. I th and I think there, there are other, there are definitely other places outside of New York where they offer that same thing. Where you know, they offer everything as well. We just, mm -hmm. just gotta, gotta check it out. Let us see. They have it too. But what I want to do, but, like, oh, as far as like you know, your career, right. as far as modeling stuff. Yeah, they they do. Yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. They do everything that you want is right there, my share. Mm -hmm. But that still doesn't answer. So if you yeah. so if it was another life, it wasn't <laughs> modeling, and you wanted to pick up and try. Just I'll pick up and like, where would it be? What would you do? I mean, maybe like an island somewhere. Oh, an island, girl. Okay. And live real simple, like mm. just I don't know, making coconut oil by hand and wow. <laughs> using that on my hair and body. That's so dope. You'd be you'd be one of those. I'd be one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Like I <laughs> fishing with a. Spear, <laughs> with a spear? spear and you know eating it raw i'm just kidding yeah, yeah maybe, uh, maybe maybe sushi <laughs> making your own sushi yeah. Yeah, okay no that would actually really be dope it's so funny how many put your back on me how many people would give up like everything that we have for a simple life mm -hmm. one of the models today is actually she's a farmer and she teaches um farming to students in the city like right. how important the, um to teach sustainability and being able to produce for yourself that's something that we don't like, one they don't teach anymore and we don't have right now Mm -hmm. Zombie apocalypse happens tomorrow, you know, world ends, I don't know, something. Right. How you gonna protect yourself? What you gonna do? What do you know? Can you start a fire? No. So I thought that's pretty dope. So the fact that you, you'd want to start over that way, make it happen, that's really cool. You think, you, you think you're cut out for that life? No. <laughs> which is why, that's why, which is why that's not correct. Right. <laughs> right. Actually, I think, I, I think I'd be okay. I, I go back to, I grew up, um, I spent a lot of time in Puerto Rico when I was younger, and my grandma, she used to tell us a lot. Mm -hmm. Cooking and whatever, but, you know, survive. We lived like on land, so we had animals and stuff. I was just talking to my mom about this yesterday. I'm Guyanese, and mm. my dad, he, he recently moved back to Guyana. Mm. And I've, I've, I've only been to Ghana one time when I was a small child, and I, I need to go back. So, do you, so like, you don't feel a connection then? You know, I mean, I feel connected to, to being Guyanese, but not actual, like the actual land. Mm. No, I don't. So like, mm. I mean, I'm, my plan is to go sometime next year. Hopefully that gives me some kind of like... Some reconnection, some fuel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah like, I'm, a, I'm a city girl, so mm. I think it, it's been really important for me to like learn some other skills because Everywhere is not going to give me Wi-Fi. I need to like, you know, have some more practical mm -hmm. skills. See, that, I think that's what, that's what, like, I don't know, my mom was just like, I don't know, it was like, it was important for her to, to what you call it, like, to send us to, to send us to Puerto Rico um, every year, you know, and to be with our grandma, like, you know, we would go to the Puerto Rican parade and you kind of just see like people who are celebrating that, you know, the culture. And I, and I guess I get it, but I often kind of just found it like, sometimes so disrespectful because you're celebrating a culture that you kind of really don't know nothing about. That's right. You've never took the chance to, you know, or the time to experience it, to experience it, see what it really has to offer. What's the knowledge? What's the history? You know your American history and that's beautiful. You know your Puerto Rican history. Right. And it's, and, and it's because of that disconnect. You know, well, that's not necessarily my history. It's history of your people, though. Mm -hmm. You said that my eyes are telling me something you can never see.